Yes, so hello to everybody. Uh, today our moderator for this meeting will be Laura Stanciu from Romania. Over to you, Laura, and welcome all of uh, our participants today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Corina. I am Laura Stanciu from Romania. Greetings, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It gives me great honor to welcome all the respected and dignified speakers and all the participants present here today from all over the world. Educators and students have gathered together to celebrate the grand finale of IIU BCAP, the biggest interactive knowledge exchange program. Organized by International Internship University, BCAP is a program meant to inspire, to share and exchange knowledge and to broaden our cultural horizon. For 30 days, we connected. We shared ideas. We traveled all over the world through images, songs, and traditions. There were many interesting and engaging topics, and I'm sure everyone had a lot to learn, both students and teachers alike. So let us begin this wonderful event. Um, do we have a video? Uh, Mrs. Corina, could you please help me? Uh, there was a video, yes. right? Yes, yes. Dr. Prati will uh, play the prayer song, first of all. And let's start our day with a prayer. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful song and a great beginning to this great event. And now it is my honor to introduce you to the first speaker, Dr. Prachi Gar, Country Director of IIU India and President Training and Development Council from India of International Internship University, who has been so active and so supportive throughout our wonderful journey in 
be kept. So, uh, Dr. Prachigar, the floor is yours. Thank you so much for the wonderful introduction, Zande. Thanks a ton. Well, good evening, good afternoon, good morning to all in their respective countries. My dear students, we all have been meeting since long and today at the grand finale. I would like to share my vision with you all as a part of one of the biggest interactive knowledge exchange program. I'm very happy to be a part of it and meeting all the students out there. Well, world, I would love to see you. Why, uh, at the end, well, the entire population is educated one day. And that's what IIU is initiating with. And with this project, definitely, Ms. Corina, Dr. Corina Sujdeya, yeah, has been actually made it wonderfully great. And this one month event with equal opportunities for all, wherever, whoever they are, all should have the right to get the desired education for that making the education system affordable for each and every system. And that's what BCAP is actually sharing uh, among all of us. So today, before I talk more about everything, I would request and I would like to share one small video of our university. Most of you have seen, but many of you haven't. So let's introduce the International Internship University among all of us. There you go. <laughs> When you think about university, you think of a building, books in the library, classrooms, students roaming around, teachers, and a huge fees to get admission. Imagine a university which is not fixed at one place, where students can study at their own ease, at their desired locations where the curriculum is updated with the technological changes and focus on the true things which matter in life. The university which focuses on developing mindset. The university which develops skills. We are talking about the contemporary education mechanism, the virtual university, International Internship University believes in inspiring, inventing, igniting young minds, cultivating excellence in every student by enabling accessible education at their own ease through virtual internships. Virtual internships act as a gateway to a world of knowledge application that was previously held behind closed doors for the fresh graduates. The ability to meet, speak, work and collaborate with industry professionals from a diverse range of fields, such as engineering, business management, humanitarian fields, and much more, delivers insights that the students can foster for a lifetime. It bridges the ever so glaring gap between the demands of the corporate world and the pride of academia. We invite applications for PhD, doctorate in literature, doctorate in science, LLD honors degree from experienced personnel in various disciplines who have rich experience in their respective fields. The program is offered only to a select group of accomplished individuals. As a professional, a degree or additional degree will allow you to make a greater impact. The expedient way of showing the world your knowledge, abilities, experience, and talents is with your degree and use of your titles. When you think about university, well, we all have been watching such videos, and now we all are very much aware of, very, very much aware of uh, the International Internship University. Yes, it has actually made 
the world small for all of us. Anytime, anywhere, the world has become much smaller place. It's just, we all need to be curious to learn. It's just, we all need to be ready to grasp new things. It's just on us. If we are ready to learn, ready to interact, ready to meet new people, ready to gain no, new knowledge. So that's how today at IIU BCAP program, biggest interactive knowledge exchange program, we all have gathered here at the grand finale by Corina Sujdeya. So thank you so much to the project manager who's been working really very hard since last number of days on this. And I really appreciate you all for attending this ceremony today from the bottom of my heart. So now the wait is over. Something which all we have been talking about since long, something we all have been discussing and looking at the chat box, that yes, who is that one face? We got a best person who will do uh, the full justice to this position, isn't it? I would request you all, if you all have few guesses about it, any one of you, I mean, any one of you have any guesses about whom I'm talking uh, ahead? Any guesses? Mom, can I? Yeah, please. Go ahead. Mom, I think it's Piyush, sir. Piyush Pandit, sir. Is it? Okay. No. Well, we got a best person who will do full justice to this position. Uh, we are, hey, if I talk about, yes, I'm talking about the Vice Chancellor of the University. And I will be introducing you to that person. So if you can name the person in the chat box, fair enough. And we'll see the guesses. If not, then I know you all will be very happy to choose the name, but yes, you are. Um, people I'll can. Here. Um, trust you all to be on mute, please. Yeah. So I am very sure that you all will be very happy when I announce the name. But to announce this, I would like to play a short video among you all. I'm sure looking at that, you'll be more happy and the person too. So. We are love. love is our mother. When you look into your mother's eyes, you know that is the purest love you can find on this earth. A mother is one who can take the place of all others, but whose place no one else can take. A mother is your first friend, your best friend, your forever friend. When you would look at late Kiriaki Ioana, the mother of Dr. Karina Sajdia, you would feel the purest love you would ever know. Late Kiriak Ioana, a kind-hearted loving angel who had left for her heavenly abode, leaving her memories back. The presence of late Kiriak Ioana is felt through her good deeds. She is not anywhere, but she is one amongst us, showering her blessings on us. International Internship University extends the heartfelt condolences. May her soul rest in eternal peace. Late Kiriak Ioana was the heartbeat in the home, and without her, there seems to be no heartthrob. She is the name for God in the lips and hearts of her family. Dr. Corina always says what she is today, or ever hopes to be, she owes to her angel mother. Dr. Corina, an experienced educationist from Romania, is a dedicated and hardworking well-known teacher on all continents of the world due to her involvement in numerous international educational projects, scientific and social, artistic, cultural, voluntary, charitable, covering almost all areas in the last 24 years. Dr. Corina is very well qualified in Romanian language, mathematics, science, civics, history, geography, arts, psychology, and pedagogy. She has been awarded with honorary doctorate by International Internship University for her commendable work in the field of education. She is a nature lover and has the desire for peace for all children of the world, regardless of gender, religion, color, volunteering, etc. To the betterment of society. She has received many awards and rewards. It's a privilege to announce the committed unique personality, Dr. Corina Sajdia, 
as the Vice Chancellor of the International Internship University, IAU. We congratulate you. Looking forward for your support in the expansion and betterment of International Internship University. Isn't it great? So let's congratulate all of us together to Dr. Corina Sujdeya. A very, very warm welcome and congratulations to Dr. Corina Sujdeya onto this position as Vice Chancellor today. Corina. Congratulations, Ms. Corina. A big round of congratulations. 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 I would like to invite Dr. Corina on, uh, on stage and would request her to take the oath as the Vice Chancellor of the International Internship University. Please, Dr. Corina, the stage is all yours. I don't know if I have words now, <laughs> but I will try. Don't cry. <laughs> I, Corina Shushda from Romania, having been appointed to the position of Vice Chancellor of the International Internship University, hurriedly, solemnly swear that I will faithfully discharge to the best of my ability to da uh, the duties as the Vice Chancellor of the International Internship University, and I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same that I will abide by the rules, regulations, and responsibilities promulgated by the duly constituted, constituted authorities of the International Internship University, and that I impose this obligation upon myself voluntarily without the, the purpose of evasion. As a Vice Chancellor, I assure you not to discuss any confidential information about IIU. I will put in my best for the progress and expansion of IIU worldwide and work closely in defining a mission, vision, and revenue model of the International Internship University. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Corina. Now, moving further, a big congratulations, but the wait is yet not over. We are waiting for the person who has been the backbone of this organization, the person who's been working really, very really hard, the person just because of him, we all are actually gathered and actually got the opportunity to be here. So on that note, let me introduce and welcome the co-founder of this startlingly beautiful evening, Mr. Tim Pandit, who is a hardworking social worker, who is passionate about you know, and, and committed to the service of humanity. He's a political figure, social activist, and entrepreneur. His social and political activism is focused on the rural areas and fights for the right to equality for everyone. He enhances access to justice for people who need it and has created a team of more than five like volunteers and more across the globe. He has attained global recognition as head of Swan Bharat Parivar Trust, the team of social activists, and then spanned across more than 50 countries with his work. Mr. Pandit has made the global ground actually. So I would like to invite you today, sir, to congratulate our Vice Chancellor of the IIT. Mr. Pandit. Thank you so much. Congratulations to team IIU Europe and Ms. Corina for the commendable success of IIU BIKP, the biggest knowledge interaction program. International Internship University is the first global virtual university providing quality, skill-based, affordable, accessible, and location-independent education to all learners across the globe to promote internship opportunities and research facilities to its learners. International Internship University is blending traditional and modern educational method with 1,000 plus courses and internship for their e-learners across 195 countries and six continents. IIU is having a team of 1,000 plus high caliber and experienced global educators. 
IIU is on a mission to illuminate the world with the torch of knowledge to, to teach a student to think intensively and think critically. We at IIU provide virtual education at an affordable price and free education for underprivileged students, reaching every child at every doorstep across the world. The leader is the one who knows the way, who goes the way, and who shows the way. Leadership is not only the position or title, but it is also the action and example. The vice chancellor of the IIU is a person who will not only lead the university's academic and administrative departments, but also will set an example by action. Vice chancellor will serve on the councils of IIU, assist with policy developments and academic planning, prepare budget and maintain the IIU's positive image. Herein, I take the privilege to announce a dynamic, experienced, and well-qualified Dr. Corina Suzdia from Romania as the Vice Chancellor of the International Internship University. Congratulations to you, Dr. Corina. You deserve it. Dr. Corina, I have faith in you, and I'm sure that you will work towards the betterment and expansion of IIU across the world. You will keep all the team members together, will have a healthy environment for better prospects. Thank you so much and congratulations again. Thank you very much. You make Welcome me cry us. from the start. No, no, it's not a matter of, it's a matter of happiness actually. Congratulations yes, from Australia also. Uh, our trustee is uh, giving me message that on behalf of her, uh, I congratulate you from Australia. Thank you again for joining us and now IIU is in your hand in safe hand uh, what to say i do not have enough words to express my gratitude and, and First, our, uh, our african head charles is also there he, he has here uh, i can see him he, he he has already done a tremendous work in uh, africa uh, you um, everyone is watched the video of uh, the convocation first convocation in nigeria so hope we are going to move further and we will do uh, again and again the great work together. Thank you so much. And thank you so much again for joining as a vice chancellor. It's uh, not only an honor, but uh, it's a duty for me to, uh, to be in this uh, position. Um, to say thank you to you will be nothing, will mean maybe nothing. But I believe in facts, not in words. The, that's why I think uh, you, uh, I don't know why my voice is double. I don't have any. It's uh, called out uh, happiness, actually. <laughs> Your voice is double, that means it's happiness. <laughs> so I would say, say again, thank you, Piyush Pandit. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for motivating me when I was in crucial uh, moments of my life. Uh, this gives me motivation, this gives me uh, courage to go on. I feel so blessed to know all of you, to work with all of you, and I hope I will never disappoint any one of you. I also want to thank all the co-founders of IAU because I know how uh, hard work is behind of uh, this university. There it's not only a person, there it's a big, big team, a big family, and Together, we can do many things. We can uh, go worldwide, as uh, you said. And why no? Let's make IIU to be a uh, very, very well-known uh, university in, uh, the, uh, in the world. Thank you all, uh, once again. And I don't want to, uh, to stop uh, before to say a big thank you to all of you, dear friends, my colleagues, my, uh, my students, uh, you are like my children, dear students, even if you are. We was together 30 days. I am uh, blessed to meet you all, to see that our future is in uh, very good hands. Thank you for supporting me and make my work uh, to be easy. Thank you, IIU team. Thank you, everyone. Namaste from Romania. I want to repeat again, actually, uh, my happiness is, you know, 
Uh, it is not like that, but uh, uh, congratulations to you, Dr. Corina. You deserve it, actually. Dr. Corina, I have faith in you, and I'm oh, sure yeah, that you will work towards the betterment and expansion of IIU. Dr. Corina, I have faith in you, and I'm sure that you will work toward, towards the betterment and expansion of IIU across the world. You will keep all the team members together, will have a healthy environment for the better prospects. So, congratulations again, and you. over to you. Thank you very much once again. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, sir, for being here. In your short time, definitely, and we all are very happy. The entire VCAP team is very happy. All the students have been listening about you so far. But today, from this uh, reason, they are blessed to see you. So a very, very hearty thanks to you from, on behalf of the entire IIU VCAP team. Now, I would like to invite, yes, to move further. To know more stories about IIU BCAP, we would like to have Santi here to tell you more about this entire 30 days experience, isn't it? So let's have a video from Santi. Santi, the stage is all yours, please. Thank you so much. Hello, all. Um, I think you are very happy with this BCAP, so I need uh, from you uh, to follow me and to go back to the first day. But first of all, let me share my screen. There are so many nice things to see. Just give me one second. And we are ready. Those two people, they had a crazy idea some days ago, actually a month ago. And uh, when uh, uh, they decided to proceed with this idea, they informed me. Uh, and some other people from all over the world again uh, to share this idea with us and uh, to ask us to contribute in any way we can. The result, it was this long list that gave, they gave us. So we liked the list and we decided to contribute. Which way? Now it's time to follow Bikip path. That means step by step you are going to remember what happened with uh, which people and uh, all the topics. Uh, don't worry, it, is going, it won't take long because I don't like uh, to spend uh, the valuable time of all of you, but you are going to have nice memories and uh, to keep uh, in your heart many things to remember uh, to the future. So, look uh, how it started. The first two days, uh, that means uh, 22nd and 23rd of November, we have uh, Corina, and uh, some creative teams and uh, they spoke about my country fairy tale and tradition and culture after that we have a long the long list with uh, the trainings as you can see here uh, the topics and the trainers those people that supported uh, all those meetings are uh, amazing uh, they talked about traditional foods to all stages uh, education in my country also study abroad and the best universities, climate action, how to prepare a research paper, and also the best required jobs uh, across the world, ecotourism across the world, and also women empowerment, amazing topics, as I said, gender equality and mental health and well-being, the most famous festivals of my country and also academic problems during pandemic and we're talking about dropouts, bullying and online violence. Very, very serious, all of them. With different teams, again, my country, uh, fairy tale and traditions. Landscapes of my country and traditional foods, again, with different teams. Education in my country and study abroad with different people and different point of views. That's why we are, uh, as you said already, an international family. You see, uh, again, climate action and how to prepare a research paper. And forgive me if I won't uh, read the names of the trainers, 
Uh, I'm sure that you don't want to kill them. Uh, I tried many times, but uh, I didn't succeed. So it's better to read them by yourselves. I think you recognize yourselves between those people. The best required jobs again, and also ecotourism. You see that the things are completely different. Women empowering, empowerment and gender equality, which is the recent ones. Mental health, and we are going very close to uh, complete the circle and famous festivals. And who are they? What are they doing here in this poster? Uh, trust me, I won't, uh, I won't tell you the truth because Azra is going to be next and she's going to explain who we are, what we, we did all those uh, days and maybe what is going to the future. So, Azra, the floor is yours. Thank you so much. Thank you, Santi. Thank you so much. I need to share my screen. And can you make me co-host, please? Here you go, Azra. Thank you. I just need to find my presentation is open, but something is wrong with sharing. Just a second. I cannot see it. I think that Corina has my presentation or maybe Dr. Prachi. I cannot see it on my screen, but it's open. Something's wrong. You sent, but I don't remember where you sent me in the uh, on Messenger, Corina. Messenger. Messenger, yes. Just a moment. So while you find that, I cannot see that on my screen when I go to share. Something is wrong. First of all, I want to say hello to all those great people that I hear with us today. I think more than 70, I can see. Uh, more than 70 participants today and it's really nice to see some students that participated in events uh, every day and my task for today is to tell uh, who are the people that Xanti show uh, thank you show That's you welcome. okay and we are going to meet our organizing committee of IIU BICA, biggest international knowledge exchange program. And of course, as Santi mentioned to you, uh, idea was, I think, in October when Corina told us it. And my pleasure is to introduce you all those people that worked with Corina in this program. Uh, sorry if I tell some names wrong, but I will try to tell them right. Dr. Vijay Kumar from India, Dr. Rajput also from India, uh, Luftana Juda from Indonesia. Next, Dr. Prachi, you know all, Dr. Prachi. Uh, also from India, uh, Dr. Snigda Kadam from India, Ermina, uh, our member from Romania, she is also here, and we have Santi, you met her also here from Greece, uh, me, Azra Shosha from Bosnia and Herzegovina, our dear Corina, brain of this operation, actually, brain of BCAP from Romania, and Mr. Payesh uh, from India, of course, in IIU, uh, of course, we organized all this. And I just want to show you some of the photos uh, we had during this one month. As you can see, uh, very happy faces, very interesting photos that we share with us 
And of course, I think that in each session we need more time because we enjoyed in presentation of our presenters, of our students all over the world. And I'm really, really great to be part of this event. But also, I think that this event that Corina uh, actually organized with all of us uh, will inspire us to continue. Okay. And I Should think I that, uh, similar uh, sessions yeah. and similar activities will be continuing in the future, of course. Uh, thank you for your attention and uh, of course we will be back in new clothes in the new year, of course, 2022. <laughs> Thank you very much, Azra. Uh, Laura, over to you. Let's Thank continue. you so much for your wonderful words. Congratulations, Mrs. Corina. And thank you all thank who you. are participating here today. Uh, the next thing that we want to show you right now uh, is a video from uh, some of the students who were with us in this program. Uh, All right, and let me share this beautiful video. Just a second, some. International Internship. Two, two, three, smile. Would you come to India at least once? Thank you so much. Because we will have different topics from day to day, and there will be different teachers, different students, so they may join. But wait. How does this happen? I could uh, tell uh, in contrast either the fairy tales only the... Good afternoon, good morning for one of you. And welcome to the biggest interactive exchange knowledge program, IIU Europe. I'm very pleased to present you today and introduce you our new program. Means uh, uh, schools can exchange their uh, collaborations with the other uh, address school, or uh, it is restricted. How it is possible? Can you give us the answer with respect to that? Yes, we, <laughs> no, yes, and we, we love to collaborate and to have uh, common projects with uh, schools from all over the world. And this is not only about my school, uh, this is uh, about all the schools in Romania. For example, uh, our uh, students had an exchange with uh, students from different countries, from France, from Spain, for the world, uh, come to see these festivities because uh, they are a really special thing. They show history and uh, traditions from long ago. So this was my presentation. I hope it uh, has convinced you to visit Romania. Thank you. Thank you very much, Laura. I hope uh, many of you have yet not visited India. So I would really 
I would want all of you to come to India at least once in your lifetime to see the diverse culture, to see the people of India. They are very simple-hearted people, and we will welcome you with our open heart, and we will will be so happy to receive you all. Other Asian countries. Okay, that's the uh, location. So Indonesia has many islands. So can you guess? How many islands in Indonesia? Is it 8,000 islands or 17,000 islands? You can start by answering on the chat box. Thank you so much. Because we will have different topics from day to day and there will be different teachers, different students. So they may join. Thank you. Yes, yes Peter, like to listen from you. Well, but... Me, the only thing I care is about the empowerment of the woman. Well, because why? Well, women empowerment were just like fair and magic. It's a women were like useless. Because humans will all have the same type. We can all work at the same efficiency. It's just we don't have the tool to work. So, We'll be in group. I will share in the group. One, okay. two, three, smile! A wonderful video showing us how it all began and now let's uh, let me invite uh, mrs corina again the heart and soul of big Hip. mrs corina please the floor is yours thank you laura uh, we'll start by thank you to uh, mr yuda for involving his students in preparing this amazing video i don't have uh, time today because I, I was in uh, class with my students to see the whole video. I see just uh, a, a part of it, but I was sure it uh, will be amazing. Thank you once again. And now, uh, because today it's the day of uh, surprises, I would like to make you another surprise and uh, please a moment I think you can see my screen I would like to invite uh, today and uh, to say to you all that Ermina Carmen Oprican from Romania will be uh, the uh, country director of uh, Romania thank you Ermina for all, all your, uh, your uh, support from start uh, till now because really uh, this was a very very big support a very big help for me and at the same time our moderator of today Laura Stanciu from Romania as uh, deputy country director of uh, Romania thank you both of you I know how uh, how hard you are working I know I can trust you every time I know you can do a lot of things so congratulations to both of you and let's handle hands and let's make iiu romania proud okay <laughs> thank you and congratulations over to you laura thank you thank you so much it is a great honor thank you iiu thank you mrs corina thank you all it is wonderful it's a great honor. And now, Mrs. Ermina, please, a great lady from Romania who has been with us every day during this program. Congratulations, Mrs. Ermina. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, dear Laura. 
uh, now I have emotions. I have so much emotion. Um, I don't know what to say. I never thought of that. I will try to do beautiful things as country Romania director. It's a great honor for me. Thank you, IIU. Thank you, my dear Corina. I will do everything with the same passion and dedication because I want to change mentality. I want all children to have access to education. I want to be able to bring a smile to their bright face. And what I said, education is the most uh, powerful weapon you can use to change the world. Is the words of Nelson Mandela, uh, Mandela, and I adore it. And uh, now I want to talk about BCAP. It's incredibly nice to know that there are people in the world who they are concerned about others, their education, their well-being, creating a better world, and giving everyone access to education. This is the IIU family. My sincere gratitude goes um, out to you, Mr. Peyush Pandit, IIU co-founders, trustees of IIU, executive board members of IIU, president council, board of directors of IIU, because you have shown us over time that education has no boundaries, Education unites us. Also, my sincere gratitude to all the teachers, trainers, students, the organizing team in this wonderful project. Corina Suja Romania, uh, Santi Choliaria, Greece, Azra Sose Bosnia and Herzegovina, Dr. Snigna Akadam, India, Dr. Prachi Gaur, India, Lucianto Yuda Pamugas, Indonesia, Dr. Pramod Rashput, India. Dr. Vijay Kumar, India. Last but not least, congratulations to my dear friend who gave me wings. She did an innovative project. She was present daily for all of us. A teacher, a valuable person, the director of the Bika project, Corina Surzda. Corina, thank you for all the support, all your trust and patience. Thank you for believing in me. In my opinion, BCAP is an innovative project. Why? Because it manages to connect teachers, students from different parts of the world for 13 days. Every day I feel more fulfilled in my soul, richer in knowledge. I learn from each other, I made friends, I was amazed by the openness of the students, by the fact that um, young people uh, have something to say in the future. BCAP also discovered future leaders of the young generation. And what could be more important than that to inspire, to motivate, to help them understand, the, to choose their path? BCAP, IIU, Grab the students' wings to fly throughout this project. I will miss you all. I will miss BCAP because in every day, I know in three and a half p.m. in my country is BCAP. Tomorrow, no. Uh, thank you. I send you all my love from here, Timisoara, Romania. And remember, Education is the key to opening the golden gate of freedom. Is the words of George Washington Carver. Thank you so much. Gratitude. Congratulations again, Mrs. Ermina. You are wonderful. You are our dear friend and uh, You've been with us today. Every uh, you are with us today, and you've been with us uh, every day through this amazing journey called BCAP. And Thank now, you. congratulations again. 
And now it is my honor to present the next speaker, uh, Mr. Vijay Kumar. Are you with us today? We would really like to invite you here. Yes, yes. The floor is yours. So welcome to everyone. And uh, it is the nice uh, speaking to all of you that is at the we can say the ceremony uh, not a last we can say but uh, it is the start of our new journey as you know this iiu international internship university is for the internship and all skill development related issues academics and all these things uh, this uh, interactive biggest program here we have added so many schools so many academics from all over the world so uh, if we say yes this is the star, uh, this is the we can say our work so uh, our challenges also we have uh, we we are overcoming with the challenges also there are different challenges also that is for an internship we must to have the uh, what is the employment what actually internship is related to the uh, because the beginning of job and the beginning of our employment or self-employment so this iiu the co-founder of uh, this uh, iiu mr piyush pandit is uh, uh, taking so many challenges and their vast experience so we can uh, we are seeing that how he uh, how he is working and uh, uh, according to the strategy whatever the, he is uh, using it is very brilliant and very exciting uh, since last uh, six months that's uh, uh, i have associated with the all different uh, we can say the events uh, i saw that uh, there the we are we are covering all over the we can say the fields and whatever the methods uh, in our academics or in practical life we are covering all this but still there uh, we have uh, uh, very much scopes uh, we can say up to 35 percent we have reached to the field now 65 percent is again uh, it is our challenge and we have to focus on that because today we say yes i, I have also uh, missing some point that is uh, this corona gives uh, we can say an online platform but uh, this corona gives miss corina for this IIU as a vice chancellor. So I congratulate Ms. Corina and also the whole IIU team. That is, we, uh, we are getting a good leadership and similarly a good person. So this uh, type of pandemics and whatever the limitations we have and challenges we have, we, uh, we, uh, uh, these type of challenges gives us a lot of, uh, uh, we can say, working area and scopes. Now, to focus on the IAU vision and mission, we have to cover a lot of, uh, we can say, colleges with, this, with respect to the skill development, with respect to the practical uh, employment, self-employment, all SDG with sustainable development goals we have to follow with UNO. And uh, when, we, uh, when we find or if uh, our vision and mission should be such that we have to reach out such type of SDGs, then we say, yes, you know, we are in some in a good, good platform. So, Swan Bharat Parivar is also working for the India. IIU is working for India or in world also. So, it is the total world collaboration. It is a total world efforts from the different leaders we are seeing in IIU. Because of that uh, efforts, we are we, uh, we are we are in this stage. And uh, I uh, congratulate and thank you all of the leaders from the uh, different uh, countries uh, and uh, organizing committee members, trainers, uh, students, visitors, and audience that uh, they make such program very, very much successful and with, uh, with their efforts. So we have to collaborate with the industries also. We have to collaborate with the associations also. So there is so much we can say challenges and uh, we all uh, work together to face the challenges and to work associate with all this. Our International Research and Development Duty Organization, US India, Happiness Club Indoor International, all will work with you. And I welcome on top of you to please collaborate with IAU 
and also with all whole uh, of the uh, we can say collaborate to each humanity each humanities and values we have to work so thank you very much have a nice day and enjoy for a better world and don't thank you dr vijay i want to say just uh, two words uh, you know many times people uh, uh, confuse uh, my name from uh, uh, Corina to Corona. So, <laughs> so, so today you said uh, a similar thing. <laughs> Thank you. Let's continue, Laura. So this Thank is you. Corona gives Corina. So it is our... Ah, you know, you, you know what, what I say to all who call me Corona? Be <laughs> careful, I'm more dangerous than, than Corona. And I am Corina. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. It is the fruit of our uh, uh, pandemic that we are getting you. <laughs> A good person. Thank you. Uh, Laura. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Vijay, for your wonderful words and for being with us in this wonderful project. And now uh, it's time for me to invite our next guest, Dr. Nada Ratkovic, a wonderful person. Are you here with us as you were in BCAP, <laughs> Dr. Nada? Yes. yes, yes, I'm here. Thank I'm you bit, so uh, much. I'm a bit, I'm bit cold, but uh, I can speak. So first, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, first, I want to congratulate to Corina. Karina, congratulations on your great work, on your new position. You really deserve it. And I know that you will do the best like you do till now. Uh, so I want to tell uh, also congratulations to you, uh, Ermina, and to you, Laura, on your new uh, positions and presenting Romania and presenting and giving a uh, a stronger and a higher position for Europe. Uh, I will tell a few words about this project. Uh, yes, I was here uh, almost every day uh, watching, watching, uh, listening, uh, our trainers, our amazing students. I want to congratulate to everyone trainer, to everyone student, uh, uh, especially for this amazing students for Lebanon. Uh, Maha, you have excellent students, uh, Mohammed, Zainab, uh, Peter. And if I don't, uh, I, can't, I can't say all the names of you because uh, you were here um, every day. Uh, yes, this was a big interactive program. Uh, like professor, we must use all these innovative uh, methods uh, and in every class we must uh, uh, not take only one uh, method. Uh, we have here, I can say, gamification, we have uh, researching, uh, we have a uh, blending, we have all uh, pedagogical teaching methods. And I was thinking till today, how to call, uh, how to call this? Yes, we all know that if we want to have a project, uh, pr uh, every project must have a pedagogical innovation, a curriculum integration, uh, communication, exchange, uh, collaboration, use of technology, uh, and the results. Uh, every day, uh, uh, all the trainers uh, who were on the stage with the same topic, I can say, everybody of them uh, do it on his best way. So, uh, in my in my session, I have a, a wonderful doctor from uh, USA. Uh, I, uh, she and me uh, make it on a total different way. Uh, how to call uh, my name for all of this is a culturally responsive teaching. Why a culturally responsive teaching? Because here where uh, students from all around the world, uh, different races, different uh, faiths, we, uh, they learn, they collaborate and they <laughs> will want to do that. Uh, so, this is uh, this project is for me a culturally relevant teaching, uh, where we include all the students, uh, where the teacher, um, where the teacher can uh, devise uh, classroom, 
uh, so uh, what say more? Uh, I, I, I can talk till tomorrow, but we have uh, many here, ma many guests. So once again, uh, yes, this was a great project. Uh, I hope this will continue. Uh, and uh, uh, maybe a little suggestion, uh, maybe uh, less trainers, more students, one trainer and other students like in a classroom because uh, uh, we have that experience with that exchange programs. Thank you and best wishes. And uh, from me, from Croatia, we here are uh, preparing for our Christmas holidays and for New Year's. I want to uh, wish everybody a happy new year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mrs. Nada. And now it's my honor to invite the next speaker, Mr. Lufianto Yuda Pamungas from Indonesia, IIU, Country Deputy Director, Indonesia. Are you with us today? Uh, yes. Uh, thank so you. Happy. The floor is yours. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. First of all, I would like to congratulate our dear doctor, Karina Shustia, for finally um, having been announced as the uh, vice chancellor of IIU. Congratulations. And I believe that you um, are going to bring us to um, one step higher, one step closer to a bigger success. And also a congratulation to Ms. Erminia Orpikian and Ms. Laura Stanciu. You are now the heart of IIU Romania. And I really would love to congratulate everyone for the success of this <clears throat> very interactive, um, you know, exchange program, knowledge exchange program. I would never ever forget how Peter showed us that young students can be really meaningful to everyone. I also remember how Hussein and Zainab, or Zuni, Zainab, um, both Zainabs, I, I still remember both of them. And on top of that, I would love to congratulate everyone for being here, for kindly staying. Um, you know, we have different time zones, but you are all here with all of your faith. And I would love to extend my hugs and loves from Indonesia because we are all here united by the spirit of the IIU. As you know, we are here for one motivation, that is to learn and that is to empower. Thank you very much. I really appreciate um, the opportunity given. And once again, I would love to congratulate um, Karina for being the latest addition, not only as the uh, board member, but um, now you hold a bigger um, responsibility, a higher position, and that comes with a stronger statement. That is to bring IIU to the best. Thank you very much. Over to you, Ms. Laura. Thank you so much, Mr. Yuda. Thank you for your wonderful words. And now uh, it's my honor to introduce you to the next speaker for today. Uh, Dr. Charles Eboria. Professor Charles. Thank you very much. The floor is yours. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for being here yeah. with us today. Well, you have been so wonderful. Thank you very much for the new dimension you are giving now. You have been given a position that requires a lot of integrity, a lot of discipline, and a lot of hard working, of which I know you can, Laura. Congratulations. Also, with my able sister, uh, Corella. Corella has been so wonderful. You have been able to stage a program of 30 days. You know what I mean? It's a very big program. She actually staged, which I give her kudos for that effort she has been able to put in through. I appreciate her very well for that wonderful work. And we are there to support her fully. As we all know, our mission still remains our mission. We are going to uphold it to the highest as this and uplifting social activities, activists, 
assisting those who are in food to prepare the youth for a brighter future, supporting various kinds of groups, institutions, and corporate entities, ensuring that we make exceptional contribution um, in the area of social services and education. We must make sure we uphold in providing internship to every student to get the experience of the concrete world, making real life problem. If meritocracy exists, we also assist to make them feel structured based on the sustainability development goals. And with Corella Arant, who has been a very active and a very industrious uh, person, we should be able to actualize it. And God be with us, our able CEO, our able COO, and our able co-founder, I know we're going to help us strongly to make sure we're able to actualize this. And God will come to uphold us to the highest so that we'll be able to cooperate together and actualize this dream. And I know with everyone, we will actualize it. And I thank God for my sister, Dr. Corona. He, she has been a very useful person in the, in the IIU. And we are going to give her full support because she has been so simple, very simple and friendly. And we know that with our support, she's going to make it. Good news to you, Dr. Corona. Thank you very much for this opportunity given to me. And I know I'm going to give as much as possible anytime call upon. Congratulations. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Charles. And now, because it is a day of celebration and a day of surprises, it's time to announce the trainer certificates. The trainers who have been with us today uh, since the beginning, who have motivated their students, allowed them to share their ideas and their thoughts with us. So let's give a round of applause for the certificates and for the trainers. So, biggest interactive knowledge program, 30 days, 100 schools, 100 teachers and professors. Involve your students and empower them. This was the motto of the biggest interactive knowledge exchange program. And now it's time to celebrate these wonderful trainers. Distinguished professors, doctors, educators, encouraging students to share their opinion through interactive discussions, interesting and engaging topics, creating global connections and knowledge exchange. These are, um, these are some, okay, just a second. And now it's time to honor these uh, people who have made the BKEP program possible. Amna Huda, Ebderazak Esopti, Abhinav Srivastava, Alessa Durgarian, Amiga Paul. Amurchuri Biswanath, Arpita Ghosh, Asmita Chauhan, Asra Soze, Bushra Afrin, Chidubem Godfrey, Chitra Charlina, 
confidence Gborgu Adjay, Corina Sujda, Deepti Batnagar, Dr. Jai Prakash Sharma, Dr. Prachi Gaur, Dr. Rupali Dhamtere, Dr. Vasanha Kumar, Dr. Vijay Kumar, Dr. Daphne Philip, Dr. Eni Kuswati, Dr. Jitesh Kana, Professor Regunath Parakal, Dr. Rabia Bhatia, Dr. Ravindra Patrak, Dr. Vasavi Acharja, Dr. Kalpana Dixit, Dr. Malini Eganathan, Dr. Mahmudul Hassan, Edward Probir Mondo, Elibahati Zablon Kimaro, Ermina Oprikan, Fatma Sogra, Fatma Tekin, Gloria Mariana Marquez Portillo, Govinda Sapkota, Gulshan Ara, Archbishop Michael Ogedembe, Hayat Xini, Hola Francisca, Zaku Prasad, Kamran Talib, Kamrul Akshan, Kirti Yadav, Laura Stanchu, Lufianto Yuda Pamungas, Madhu Talwar, Maebile Victoriano, Maha Sadeh, Malebese Ismael Selo, Marcia Vilan, Mina Ja, Melbert Liboon, Mingyao Xiung, Mohamed Anwar, Mokshi Bir, Jyoti Dahia, Namrata Bobde, Nguyen Ming Trang, Nidhi Nishawan, Nirmala Devi Kandasami, Nirupam Bhatnagar, Osaji Success Ikezahu, Palavi Sinha, Unam Tandon, Ramod Rajput, Prasanti Gumadi, Prem Adesh Lekti, Priya Rajen Tran, Professor Siham El Kafavi, Professor Nada Ratkovic, Rajan Prasai, Rakesh Verma, Rania Lampu, Ranjana Harlalanka, Rashmi Puri, Rohit Deshpande, Rudi Salam Sinulinga, Rupam Mukherjee, Sacha Kaluri, Simran Kaur, Snigda Kadam, Trimeh Radhya, Vijay Kumar, Xanti Chuliara, Yogesh Sharma. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you for helping us to make this wonderful event possible. And I apologize for uh, misreading some of the names. I am sure I made some mistakes, but uh, we are all one big planet. <laughs> And we have different names, sometimes difficult to pronounce. So congratulations, everyone. Congratulations to all the wonderful trainers. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. And now, uh, OK, it's time to invite some of the students. Let's hear 
some of the voices that were so familiar to us during these 30 days. So who was one of the most active students in our BCAP meetings? Anyone? Me? Any votes? Avnika. Avnika, that's for sure. Avnika, are Peter. you here? Of course you are. You are always with us yes, every day. So today you will be the speaker. The floor is yours. Thank Welcome, you. Avnika. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank IAU Bikip. Uh, sorry, just a second. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, I would like to thank IIU Wicket for providing such a wonderful platform and for the interaction with people for sure around the globe. And when I got to know I have been enrolled for this exchange program, I was merrily dancing all around and was excubering. I must say, this exchange program of 30 days has given me a lot of opportunities and knowledge. Seems I have virtually traveled across the world and uh, and met so many people, like, I must say, I can see Laura ma'am, Corina ma'am, Armina ma'am, Dr. Prachi, few of my friends, Peter, um, and um, that too, Thao, and um, many more, even Miss Man uh, Amana. So they were the best teachers, friends, interactive people that I love. And I would, uh, like, all the topics that we covered in this workshop is really amazing. Be it uh, traditional mouth-watering sessions, landscape, or women empowerment. I really, I would love to be a part of this. And thank you. I'm looking forward for this amazing journey. And special thanks to Miss Corina and my school, teacher Rashmi Ma, for letting me enroll in this interactive session. You're welcome, Avnika. Even after having got stitches on her forehead, she has still made it every day to this. Thank you so much, Rashmi ma'am, school, Corina ma'am, Ermina ma'am, Laura ma'am, Dr. Prachi. Thank you so much for letting me a part of this. Especially yeah, Rashmi, because take care. School. You are the really source. Thank, Thank you, you Avnika. Thank you. Wonderful. You are one of the most active students in the BCAP program. And so was Peter. Peter, are you here with us today? Yes, of course I'm here. Of course you are. We knew that. <laughs> so, a round of applause for you. The floor is yours, Peter. Well, we're learning, we're studying in IU BCAP. Well, to me, it's like a powerful dream to me. I've been dreaming from when I'm young, when I just started learning English to now, I've been dreaming that one day I will be in international classes, speaking English with other natives, and the IAU Bicep has made my dream come true. I can share what I think, what I think to make the world better for people to know, hoping that one day, hoping one day that I can change the world, hoping that one day I will become the best students and of course being the best students doesn't mean that we will, I will forget all teachers that I study with. Thanks to all teachers, thanks to everyone that teaches me what they know, that teaches me what I can know and that's bring me to success in the future. Thank you all and hope that the IU will create another class like this. And if that is true, well, I will again be the most active students. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. Thank I'm you. sure you are one of the best students in this program. We and have, now- We have Shubhi also, Shubhi Bahuguna. Because Shubhi. Yeah, okay. she was always available, present, and she was interactive because I, whenever I have attended this program, I have seen her very well attending, interacting apart from Peter and others. Yeah, so that is, a, I like to nominate her also as well with a due permission. Yes, of course. Is she with us today? Yeah, she's very much here. She's always there on time. Let me tell you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's. To me, all to you. 
So I am very thankful to BCAP and Corina ma'am and my teacher Rashmi ma'am too to let me participate in this amazing event. And I know I learned very much things and new things that I didn't even know from here. Like I knew so many traditional from all over the world of the countries. And I knew, you know, women about women empowerment and education abroad. So it was a very great experience to be with other, um, you know, uh, students from the other side, other, you know, other countries and other states. It was a great pleasure to be with you all. Thank you so much, Shubhi. Okay, thank you so much. Of course, Dr. Kalpana. Uh, sorry, Laura, let's move uh, at the end. We will give the floor to okay. everybody who wants to say something. Please uh, keep uh, in touch, stay with us till the end, uh, but don't, uh, don't in, uh, interrupt the program because uh, students are eager uh, to know many things from IAU. At the end, all of you will have the right to open your microphone and to speak. Okay, uh, excuse me for this. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. So next, again, one of the most active students, Zainab. Zainab, are you here? We are waiting for you. Yes, you are hello, always everyone. with us and we love your yes. presentations. Welcome. Thank you. Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure for me to be a speaker today to let you know how did the bucket program impacted my life positively. So first, the most important point is self-confidence. So before the bucket program, I was really confident because I always uh, like to attend the programs that focuses on speaking skills and speaking in front of people. But after the bucket program, my self-confidence has skyrocketed. Like, as you can see now, like I'm speaking to you with no doubt, uh, because every day I was uh, discussing, asking and presenting in front of people from all over the world uh, that I don't even know. So so it's pretty nice. The second point is the gain of knowledge. You know, we have 15 topics and almost uh, half of them we didn't were totally new to us. But for every topic, we had three trainers. And uh, three trainers means the three presentations means a lot of info. So now we are professors in those topics. So we can discuss them with anyone with no doubt because we have now a great variety of infos regarding those topics. Uh, the, the third point is that in addition, my perspective to life for life has okay. changed a lot. I used to believe that racism exists in all, all over the world. So I had a fear to meet people from different nationalities, maybe different countries. But now, uh, after the bike program, I was really shocked. Like we are here from different diversities, nationalities, from different regions, religions, not like countries, but we all loved each other. We all respected each other, which is the most important point. And you, Ms. Karina, Ms. Laura, and all the moderators and trainers, you treated all of us equally. So that was pretty amazing. Uh, next, regarding the inspiration and motivation. Uh, Miss Karina inspired me a lot, like seeing this powerful woman create, creating this astonishing program and emerging all uh, the world, all uh, teachers and students from all over the world, like it's really inspiring. And also, uh, like all of the moderators, trainers, and our teachers kept on motivating us every single day to embrace our opinions, uh, to be future leaders. Uh, and last but not least, like we all know that the English language is really essential and crucial in our life. But this program proved to me that English is the language of the world. Like here we are from different countries and every one of us has totally different languages. But we had in common the English language uh, that let us uh, exchange knowledge and express our ideas. And special, a special thanks for all the trainers and moderators. Of course, special thanks for Miss Karina. And loads and um, the heartiest con congratulations to Miss Karina, Miss Laura, and Miss Oprican. Thank you all. 
Thank you so much, Zainab. Thank you for being with us every day and for sharing your you. opinion. And now, Mohammed, are you here? <coughs> yes. One, again, a wonderful student who was always with us. Giving me this opportunity to express my feelings for this uh, program. And I want also to say that the, as much as I speak, uh, I want uh, that wouldn't uh, be enough. So um, first when my teachers uh, introduced me this program, I was so excited. One of my reasons was to participate in such international programs. I joined the first session about women empowerment. It was so hard to raise my hand to share, but I did it. And by encouraging of my school, Ms. Corina and Mr. Yuda that time, I was able to share it by day. This program told me that I can. It enhanced my self-confidence in an unbelievable way. Till I was able to, uh, to prepare PowerPoints and videos and to share them without any doubt. Yes, uh, this program, uh, I felt in this program uh, uh, like the world, it's a small village. Yes, although this global is enormous, but this program gathered people from all over the world with different ages and different nationalities. It opened my mind on outstanding festivals, landscapes, and sites in each country that I didn't know in my life, and also opened my eyes on my country, on my country more. Every day I joined, I was able to, to feel the diversity of this world. Everyone has his own accent, his own personality, his own way of expression, but respect was one of the basis of this program. It taught me that we all for each other. In my school, my friends and I were always ready uh, for him sending a file or a video for any of us when she or, uh, or any of us couldn't do it. And also Ms. Karina uh, helped me a lot by sharing my video since I wasn't able to. Yes, this program planted a lot of values in us that we should all consider in our life. Moreover, it taught me that this global is mine. Um, by the climate action session that uh, taught us that we should protect our world from pollution and save it from any environmental by reusing, reducing, recycling, and many other techniques that we should consider to live in a healthy world. Furthermore, I learned that happiness is the base of the life. Uh, that I should uh, take care a lot about my mental health to get a pleasant, a pleasant life uh, where depression doesn't exist. I noticed that my self-worth uh, to take care of it and, uh, and practice all what needs to keep it in its great situation because everybody deser deserves the best satisfying life. BKEP passed all life domains and gave me suitable skills to deal with this life for the best uh, healthy living. So I can say God blessed me by this self-developing program that gave me knowledge and gave me a, a new family that I consider that I can consider in my life. Thank you all. Thank for every trainer, speaker, and the student in this program. I'll miss this program a lot because I feel it's part of my life. I love you all and thank you. Thank you so much, Muhammad. You are all wonderful, wonderful students kept scrambling and we also had a lot to learn from you okay and we are grateful to you for your dedication for finding the courage to speak up to share your ideas and your views and for participating in an active way and now let's see maybe who were the most active students and teachers <laughs> in BCAP program. It's no surprise. We think we already know. <laughs> so the biggest interactive knowledge program involve your students and empower them and uh, we feel that we truly empowered students students were empowered by this program and we had such wonderful and meaningful interactions 
these were just some pictures. There were so many students. So let's give a round of applause. Aya, you want to thank the most involved and active students. Avnika. Always with us. Peter, always active. Hi. Zainab. Wonderful. Mohammed. All of you are great students. And there are many others who were with us every day. And I'm sorry I couldn't find all the pictures of the students involved, the students who had presentations and made us feel happy every day with their wonderful words. So congratulations. There are many, many more students who are not included in this presentation, but they all deserve our applause. They were with us sharing their views and their opinions, and they are great students. And now I would like to invite Mrs. Ermina to announce the most active teachers and students. Thank you, Laura, and congratulations. Please forgive me because I was so emotional <laughs> and I, I don't tell you congratulations. It's all by my heart. Congratulations uh, to you. <laughs> what a blessed day. A day you truly deserve awesome. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, my dear. Um, in the students who spoke, I see the following leaders of tomorrow. I adore yes. them all. I adore them. In Beacon, we were like in a family, a real exchange of knowledge, ideas, visions. Today, we will find out who were the most active teachers and students, students during our 30 day, day trip. You are curious? I admire them all. I am sure you too. Let's reward them for their work. Let's see their names. Adiba Shek. Amna Jin Yes Desert Pakistan. Andra Zaharia. Angelita Mihai Sebastian. Aslam Roxana. Avnika Bugal. Axinte Bianca. Beskia Christian, Butian Isa, Kazak Delia, Konstantin Denisa, Dipti Bhatnagar, Dr. Vijay Kumar Salvia, Dr. Mahomet Ghazi Mahomet Ghazi. Erum Amzad, Fahim Ahsan, Farhan, Fatma Sogra, Fatma Tekin, Georgita Mircha, Gulsan Arra, Ha Kim Pong. Hersit Pafsar, Jaku Prasad Gatti, Kamrul Aksan, Keya Gupta, Madhu Talwar, Maha Sadeh, Mentor Kovac, Misti Kausik, Naksatra Shinde, Mohammad Hussein, Neagu Mario, Nicola Madalin Mionut, Miraj Kumar Singh, Pasku Alexandru. 
Pavel Alesia. Petku Alina Simina. Petre Lavinia Elena. Ponam Tandon. Prem Adhesh Lekhi. Professor Hayet Sini. Professor Nada Ratkovic. Rakoshi Arpad. Rana Ezedin. Rashmi Puri. Razvan Bortesh. Rinkau Bianca Georgiana. Sabulescu Alexandru Tudor. Sunita Suresh Chavan. Stănescu Eveline Sara. Sandeiu Sebastian. Tu Tao. Toma Claudia Teodora. Tran Gia Hung. Vârvara Alexandra Mariana. Vu Tien Min. Yogesh Sharma. Zaher Ali. Zainab Alhaj. Zainab Arzuni. Zainab Maze. Ermina Hufrican. Laura Sancho. Usha Malhotra. Dari Dakanai. Eduard Mondol. Charles Ebolia. Nigda Kadam. Dr. Prachi Gaur. Maha Sade. Fatma Tekin. Lucianto Yuda Pamungas. Prem Adesh Lecky. Dr. Daphne Philip. Govinda Sapkota. Congratulations to all. Congratulations. Congratulations, please. Make applause. Great. Great. Proud of you all. Great. Great team. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Ermina. Just a moment, Laura. Um, maybe there uh, some people are missing or uh, their names are not uh, very well uh, uh, writing uh, there on the certificates. Uh, we are here, we are in BCAP, we are in IIU. You, all the time you can contact us and uh, be sure your certificate will be sent and all of you will uh, receive your certificate. Thank you very much, Laura. Thank you so much. Congratulations again to all the trainers and all the students. And now let's uh, hear a few words from uh, some of the trainers, some of the teachers who were involved in the BCAP program. So first, uh, let me introduce you to Mrs. Daphne from USA, to Mrs. Daphne Philip. Are you here with us? Um, I think she is not today. Okay, great. Then let's move on to uh, Mrs. Maha from Lebanon. Mrs. Maha, you are invited here. Um, you can hear me now. Wonderful. Hello, everyone. The floor uh, is yours. Welcome. Like say <laughs> uh, we have many congratulations to say uh, today. Congratulations, Ms. Corina, Laura, Minya. Congratulations for all the trainers. Congratulations also for uh, my students, too. If I would like just to highlight the impact of the PICAP, actually, I don't need just the three minutes.
hours or maybe I need a day's television there. It was, uh, ben, it was once said by Benjamin Franklin, tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. And that actually was the aim of the PICA program to involve our students in order to enable them to learn. It was an amazing virtual journey that all of us really, we wish that it would never end. I still remember just the first day when I asked my students just to join this program. They were embarrassed, they were shy, hesitant, confused, and afraid. To be honest, uh, I did my best the first day just to convince them to use the camp, but uh, it wasn't day. Day after day, the situation became uh, completely different. The embarrassed, the confused, the shy, the hesitant student be became the strong, the confident one. And you have an idea about them, Muhammad and Zainab, I'm sure all the other students who didn't have a chance to participate there today. Actually, uh, they not only turned to be a confident and a strong student, they were insisted every day to prepare the presentation, to share their thoughts with their global trainer and with their global friends. If I'm gonna say really words are not really enough to express my feeling, just to see my students' progress every day. Even though they had a holiday, we are now in a holiday in Lebanon, but they were always busy preparing for the new uh, topic. Uh, once usually stop, I use, for example, to, to think a lot how I'm going to, uh, to integrate the core skills in my daily lesson plan in order to prepare my students, for example, to think in a critical way, uh, to communicate, to collaborate, to solve the problems, to be a digital citizen, and to do all, uh, to, to have the ability, for example, to, uh, to have all the core skills together. Actually, uh, uh, PICAP was a complete package for all the uh, core skills. It enabled my students uh, to be a global citizen, to communicate with, uh, with different people from across the globe. They were able to think in a critical way. They became a leader who are able to think in a critical way. Who are able to think in a creative way and also are able to inspire others. Uh, with BioCAP, my students started to, uh, to think in a different way. They have different perspectives. Not only that, they started to value themselves and they recognize that they are really amazing and they can make a difference. Actually, BioCAP promoted. Uh, and strengthen their understanding also of the sustainable issue, whether on the local and the global uh, and the global level, and give them the opportunities to uh, to be a global active citizenship, not just uh, as a passive listener. I used to join another program where students use it just to listen. What I like about uh, BICAP is my students are not just passive listeners; they are active members who are able to share thoughts, to express their own ideas. Uh, also, what is special about PICAP is that they were, they were given the chance to connect with, uh, uh, with the students from different cultures. And uh, here it's very important for them to appreciate the similarities, give them the chance to appreciate the similarities and the differences and encourage the spirit of uh, tolerance. As I mentioned earlier, I need hours just to speak about uh, the impact of the PICAP, but I would like it just to, to end with a message for uh, educators all over the world. Usually, if we are not going to be, if we are not going to put uh, our students outside of their comfort zone, actually they are not going to, be, uh, to learn anything. So we as educators, we should dare to participate in such uh, types of activity. We should dream back so our students are going to be the same because the change only began at the end of a uh, comfort zone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mrs. Maha, for your inspiring words. Thank you so much. And now uh, it's my pleasure to welcome the next speaker. Uh, Mrs. Usha from India. Um, uh, Mrs. Usha. Good evening, everybody. Good I'm evening, so, welcome. Thank you. And so nice to be here. I've been watching the programs and 
and learning so much. First of all, you know, I, I'm so, it's so nice what Mr. Pusch has in mind. He said that it is from, we are, we go to greater heights by taking small steps and binding, we are, we reach the great heights, binding staircase of small steps. These are the small steps the world is taking. I kept taking it here. All the children from all over the world are here. <laughs> Not, I wouldn't say all, but part of the world are here to go up the ladder. Ladder of education, ladder of intermingling, ladder of being one. The world has become so small. It's so wonderful to have programs like this. It's not only inspiring for the teachers, for the students, for the parents, and for the for our SDGs, for everything. These are the steps we are taking to go up and sharing all our festivals from all over the world. It's so wonderful. We have Diwali, then we have Christmas, then we have so many, so many celebrations. And not only that, we have different religions. We accept the religions. Children are from different, they look different when we are on the thing. They are the same. And they are all friends. So we learn to intermingle. The children are learning, they are progressing, and we are growing, we are making the world a smaller place. And the best part which I loved about it was making the children conscious from all levels. Some children are lucky to be in good schools, they come. Some are not that lucky. They come from village schools or not that great schools, but all are here and they learn so much. And they also learn how to, they all, they were all working for, towards getting our children to good universities. Good universities where they can intermingle. They study in schools on this platform, they have become got into the world. It's one world. From this platform, their world will increase. They will go to the next world of the universities, maybe in their country. Then they will go into the world of international universities. And from a little seed, we have a big tree. I'm so proud of you, BIKAP. It's a wonderful platform, just wonderful. And thank you so much, Corina, for having me here. And lots of congratulations to you. And what can I say? I'm really proud of you. And uh, the whole team of teachers, the, the one who has the youngsters and uh, the effort that has been put by everyone. God bless everybody. And thank you, Mr. Pish Pandey, for offering this platform to the children, the teachers, the world. This is really wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Before, uh, uh, before Laura go on, I would like to express my gratitude, my love, my oh, respect. Mama for you because uh, you really motivate us inspiring us to be here every evening almost every <laughs> evening with us in this program it's uh, uh, said a lot if you can be here why i can say i cannot do it no if you can do it really my respect <laughs> my love from romania thank you once thank again you. for being with us thank you thank you corina Thank you. India, no. <laughs> it's very nice. Very lovely to be here. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us today. Now, uh, let me invite the next speaker, Professor Dr. Mahmoudul Hassan. Thank you for being with us today. Welcome to this wonderful celebration. The floor is yours. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, in fact, I was so eager to speak up, uh, to welcome, and especially to congratulate the big team. And today, in fact, I am so excited to wish my very young kids and the future leaders the way they have been talking 
and it impressed me a lot uh, if I want to mention their names, especially students, Peter, Jaina, then Abnika. There are so many students, their names have been shown here. I am really, really very optimistic to see the great and very golden future oh, yeah. of the nations in the respective uh, countries. And this, in fact, uh, the IIU, I was wondering and also observing the uh, situations and the uh, sessions. And I had a scope to speak up regarding a uh, station, but I found the IIUC, the way it is advancing with a lot of the projects, the mission, visions, I believe this will turn into a global visit, established global village. I definitely wish a PG Pandit for a very good initiative for preparing this one. And today is the great benchmark for I, I see all the members, educators, trainers, students, that today the appointment which have been declared, this is undoubtedly well deserved and God blesses uh, Miss Karina, Dr. Karina. Uh, I really, really and heartily congratulate Dr. Karina because this is the only person who convinced me to be attached in this platform. Otherwise, I could not have the scope to come here without any location, without any links. So I definitely, from my core of heart, my heart is for Karina. I welcome and congratulate you. Secondly, I found today two names also have been declared as the director and the deputy director, Laura, the Emina, and they are also most congratulated by me from Bangladesh. And at the last, I like to congratulate the IIC, all the founders, organizers, directors, and who are working relentlessly from day to night to make this program very successful. I believe IIU will come forward with a lot of the uh, successes. But if I, if, if, if I am allowed, I like to suggest you, being an educator, I like to suggest that that should continue with some of the specific missions on the research involving the children towards the many aspects, history, geography, science, and we can ask for the research paper from different corners in the minor level to university level. The research ones, there should have been also project of publishing the newspaper or the uh, the research paper or the magazine, there should have been these are the initiatives to be taken by IIU. I believe I'm sorry to the, say you, but we have this initiative. You must visit our website and you will see we okay, have a lot you, of Karina, initiatives. I, still, I am achieving the knowledge and also I am gathering the knowledge, but I really, really like this IIU because uh, I believe the way we uh, love I. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. And I will not speak more, but really I am the person to be attached with this IIU to be connected with all the very, very renowned leaders and the future leaders and the really the good educators. And Corina, again, my best wishes to you to come forward, thank you very move much. forward with a lot of successes. Thank you so much. Thank you all of you from Bangladesh and greetings. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, waiting for uh, your... Uh active participation in our next programs. Thank you. Thank you so much for your wonderful you so words. Much. And now let me invite our next speaker, Mrs. Kim Fong from Vietnam. Let's all welcome Mrs. Kim Fong. Hello, everyone. Uh, my welcome. Name is Kim. The floor is yours. Hi, uh, as you know, by care about for connecting, enriching and empowering the global community, interactive exchange program expose students to people from different cultural, geographic, religious and social economic backgrounds. It also provides the opportunity for students to develop a greater understanding of diversity, both in their home country and other countries. Mm. Also, BICAP allows students to interact with and learn from uh, people 
who are different from themselves and to participate in new and distinctive experiences beyond their own communities. BICAP has students to develop positive relationship with others, understand a broad range of perspective, and develop the knowledge and skill needed for participation in our multicultural society. And participating in this international cultural and educational exchange program is really a life-changing experience. It's not only brought in student's point of view, but also provide opportunity to gain new skill and knowledge. IIU has tailored this program with the aim of helping to increase the participation and understanding of other cultures and improving their English language skills and broaden their social horizons. And English has become the necessity of people of all countries as is the most popular language all over the world and to explore the world for starting abroad, for job, for business, and many other purposes. And good English communication skills are all required. So IU have helped students to learn this language better. Thank you very much. Thank you IIU for this change for students all over the world and for my students to learn and share their knowledge. I wish to connect with you in other projects. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It was wonderful to connect with people from all over the world. Ah, it was indeed a great experience. And now let me introduce the next speaker, Mrs. Fatma from Turkey. Uh, are you with us today? Mrs. Fatma? She was, uh, was there before, but uh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe technical no problems. Possible. And okay. Alice from Armenia. Are you here, Alice? No, I think uh, they are not here. No. So let's go on. Okay, then it is my pleasure and an honor uh, to announce the uh, certificates for the organizing team of BKIP. certificates and list of organizers. So a round of applause for everyone who has done their hard work as organizer team member in the IIU BCAP biggest interactive knowledge exchange program. Asra Soze, Mrs. Corina Sujda, Mr. Lufianto Yuta Hamungas, Dr. Prachi Gaur, Mrs. Ermina Obrikan, Pramod Rashput, Snigda Gadam, Xanti Chuliara, Vijay Kumar. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone, for making this great program possible for educators and for students. And now uh, let's hear the voices of everyone who wants to say something about this great program. So the floor is yours, everyone. This is the chance to have your voices heard. I will start. Good evening. Good evening from India. This is Dr. P.K. Rajput here. With the due permission, I'd like to convey my gratitude on this wonderful I am a professional, right? And uh, I always feel there is every professional, there is an educator here. So first of all, my gratitude to Dr. Piyush Pandit for giving me such a wonderful opportunity. Also my gratitude to Prachi Ji because she is one person who is added and my lot of uh, humbleness to Corina Ji, Corina Madam, because I'm seeing her from last six months, so more than that, 
she is one of the most passionate person where i have seen so again my salutation to corina ma'am and my gratitude to armina ma'am i my gratitude to laura and so many wonderful personalities who are here and you all have made it because <coughs> this program is supposed to be the best program which i have seen because the entire world the 100 of the students 100 of the schools and 100 of the teachers and 30 days program actually it should be written in the some book of records that yes this thing has happened believe you me and you must put it you must put it you must ensure it and we always say the journey of 100 miles start with the very first step and already we have started traveling the journey and believe you me that these student who have joined the, across the entire world and where the educators they have added the things they have really built the things so much because we are able to see these student they are going to shine glow like a star in the entire universe believe you me and when i talk about the things i always say that there is a, some skills are there because now only the uh, basic uh, lessons learning is not going to make a difference with this situation of corona or pandemic it has changed the entire situation of learning now the learning has gone towards the skill building and today in this program we all have noticed and we all have endorsed that yes the skill development was one of the thing which has been added which is the actual requirement emotional agility has been added emotional intelligence has been added and the technical knowledge has been added what not what is required it is there it is a complete gamut which has been added so my salutation and i personally feel being a professional i am really blessed to be a part of this and i assure you that i will be there in the future i also like to say here because in between i was supposed to be in one of the program but there was some urgency in my home because uh, my mother uh, she was been diagnosed cancer so i have to rush to the hospital so i really thank and salute corina madam which you have taken the things immediately in between and you have helped and supported so uh, my salutations to you and to everybody thank you so much for giving me opportunity i am blessed i am humbled and my gratitude to everybody thank you Thank you and Hello. our gratitude to everyone for being here. Okay, Laura, let's hear the next I, speaker. Of course, yes, uh, Laura, it is me, uh, Professor uh, Dr. Ravinder Rena. I'm the IAU country head of uh, South Africa. I'm based in South Africa, and uh, of course, I know Corina before the IAU was born, and uh, she was such a kind lady and one of the unique ladies that I ever met. Uh, i am so feel uh, privileged and uh, proud to see the progress uh, that uh, you know has been made uh, in her career and that she became the vice chancellor today and i also congratulate uh, uh, corina as well as the other uh, romanian two members uh, romania is always close to my heart uh, because i visited romania i was in iac uh, alexandru university i was there as a keynote speaker it was in 2008 that was almost 10 10 years ago so i traveled all the way to uh, you know bucharest and bucharest to iasi and uh, i know romania better and i know romanians are like my family members so i also congratulate the new country director of uh, ermina is there and um, uh, probably the other fellow colleagues from different corners who joined us today and i must uh, see uh, you know i'm i feel so uh, happy to see these youngest youngsters like uh, peter is there and you know there are few girls and uh, i mean such a marvelous uh, journey you know we always uh, teach uh, mba and phd students but we don't see these youngsters uh, in our classroom environment uh, as uh, professor uh, rajput also uh, mentioned that you know we need to uh, try to encourage these youngsters like peter and others and uh, we need to empower them that is what you know is needed for this world so i think uh, we can achieve a lot more in the near future with the uh, under the umbrella of iiu and we have the best minds uh, you know that are coming together to put uh, you know our minds together so that you know we can plan we can strategize and we can try to achieve uh, a tremendous progress in the education sector because education is something that is becoming very expensive these days and this uh, you know new model of iiu where we want to make education you know cheap as much uh, as much cheap as possible and we are taking the education to the doorsteps of the people so that is what is important and uh, i think uh, in the near future we will achieve a lot more and uh, 
with this few words from me and uh, i wish you good luck uh, corona and of course they are also saying uh, corona but uh, although they are uh, very much close <laughs> oh to the uh, corona <laughs> corona but uh, we we see you you are more powerful than corona but uh, uh, in, in terms so. of positive way in terms of positive way so i know that with that power in built in you and uh, i wish uh, your mom is there to see this uh, celebration but i hope god will bless you and uh, may uh, her soul rest in peace and uh, but i wish you good luck uh, to you uh, corina and to your team members uh, we will work together hand in hand and uh, uh, so i am happy to be here uh, today thank you thank you so much for your inspiring words and now one of the most active students jetro from Vietnam. So um, all I wanted to say is just that I really love this progress and it is really, really good for me because I can practice my speaking skill, also listening and writing because I usually write, write down my notebook. But um, I also have, I will have one more question for Miss Corinna, can I? Miss um, Corinna, can I please ask you? Yes, please. I just wanted to ask for a little question. Is this really the end of this program? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. It's really the end. I don't believe in the end. Uh, for sure, there will be the next program, the next project. So uh, stay close to us and we will uh, keep in touch and we'll work Mom, together. We can say it's the beginning. It's the beginning. The beginning. Yes, the beginning. bravo, beginning. Mika. It was the beginning. Yeah, I hope so. And I, until the next program, program, I will miss you guys a lot. I hope you guys best luck and God bless you. God bless you too. Thank you. We Jethro. will miss you too. <laughs> Deep tea? I am seriously, there was, thank you is a very small word to interact with so many knowledgeable persons of one platform. Thank you. Thank you so much for the organizers, everybody so beautifully. And we have learned each day so many things and kids salute to you all. The energy level was another zone. I was waiting for your questions ki, and you come out with beautiful questions. So that is the level of this, of, uh, this whole concept and biggest knowledge program. Seriously, and all the organizers, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Rana? Hello, uh, respected teachers and uh, beloved students, good, all, uh, good evening to all of you. First of all, uh, I would like to thank Mrs. Corina and Mrs. Shahade and uh, Mrs. Hanan, especially for letting us a part of this program. I really appreciate your offer, uh, efforts to make us uh, feel special. This program planted a lot of information in us. You are like uh, my second family. This program ins inspired me a lot. I love you all and I will miss you until we meet again. We are, all of us miss, uh, miss you, will miss you, and uh, all of us love you. You love you and love you all. Um, I did something with BCAP. Do you remember the first time when you joined BCAP program? Yes. Everybody was so <laughs> silent. Everybody was with uh, microphone and camera closed. And I did it. No, I can see a very beautiful girl in front of me. Thank you for this. And this was the point to make you to, uh, to lose your shyness, to be here as you are, because you are beautiful by heart and by mind. Thank you very much. Love you. I remember when I first joined this program, I uh, I wasn't uh, used to open my camera, but uh, Miss Karina and Mr. Yuda at that time, they didn't allow us to share only if we open our camera. And that was a really good technique to encourage us. So, yes, thank you.
Zainab. Yes, uh, you know, I couldn't leave without sending sending loads of thanks uh, for Miss Maha because without her, we couldn't be here today. Like, she is a great part uh, of uh, introducing us to this program. Thanks a lot, Miss Maha. And I'm waiting on fire uh, till the next program, Miss Karina. Thank you. We will come up with the next program. Be sure about this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Firstly, uh, I would like to wish everyone a good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. I would like to say that this was indeed a wonderful platform and a wonderful session. I had a lot of fun time joining these. It was really educational and um, I grew very confident. Earlier I was like, no, this might not be the right thing. I, I should not ask questions, but now I'm like, I should. This, uh, this, uh, uh, this session really inspired me. Thank you so much. And we thank you for being present here. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, everyone. So many wonderful teachers and so many great students with us today. And we thank you all for your involvement. Um, and Mm. Mrs. Ermina he has a special surprise for you. Thank you, my dear Nora. Um, for today, I will present my friend, Dr. Rupa Mukherjee, global educator, convener poet, and lead artist from India, Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert, Indian Book of Records, record holder. He has a surprise for the IIU family. He has prepared them with dedication for this special day. My friend, please present your leaf prepared for this day. Uh, thank you, Ermina. Uh, good evening to everyone. Uh, Master Rupa Mukherjee, and um, I have my heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Pius Pandit, sir, and obviously Corina, because though in the virtual mood we used to know each other from a long time still i remember so we have some lot of discussions and our biggest thanks to this online global platform because in the virtual we we are learning so many things i'm totally agree with all the points whatever said by each and everyone because whatever i've seen from the first day though i didn't join for many days but bk is doing a very fantastic job because i have been with this bk because when it started the randomly the process, especially the teamwork is very important. My big salute to Corinna for having this type of opportunities for each and everyone, because she did a very wonderful job. So this is not only a program, this is basically a mega event, which we used to call in our Indian language. This is basically a mega event. And this event could be possible when this type of trainers, moderators, educators, especially the students used to get a good involvement. So this is what an event used to happen. We are trainers, we used to train the students. We have our own qualities, we can enforce them, we are learning. So sharing involvement is very important. So thank you very much to each and everyone for having this opportunity. And obviously, a biggest thanks to one of my friends from Romania, African is there, who inspired me also sometimes about IIU. I too had to send that yes, they are doing a lot of good work. So obviously, I'm just trying to share my one of my Leaf art, that is one for IIU, and that is another one for Dr. Pius Pandit, sir. So just be in the camera. <laughs> Very nice. This Amazing. is about uh, a leaf it's art, so uh, I'm a leaf artist. I started learning this uh, leaf art, uh, might be through online, sometimes I've seen some people are doing it. So like, I'm really very much optimistic while doing all these things. You can like easily come to know about this process. It's like done in a very nice way. So uh, another one is for huge point itself.
just I don't have the original picture. Like sometimes I used to see the posters and then I can easily say, oh, this is great. Like I can do it. I think that I, that is totally perfect. I agree with you, sir. <laughs> so if you turn from this side also, you'll find out the same thing. And if you go for this right also, you'll find out the same thing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what to say? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you very much. Wonderful. Thank you work. so much. This is so impressive. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you very for much. your great work, for the surprise, and um, thank you very much. we hope that we collaborate in IIU in future. Yeah, thank sure, you. sure, 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 sure. Thank you so much, Mrs. Ermina, for this great surprise. <laughs> and now let me invite uh, again Mrs. Prachigaur yeah. to tell us a few words. The floor is yours. Thank you so much, Leon. Laura, so yeah, it's been two and a half hours. I believe, again, as we heard from Avnika, this is not an end. So we all will be meeting once again with one another. Workshop, sessions, interaction, a lot of new learning and much more at IIU, certainly. Well, uh, being the country director of International Internship University, I want to extend my generous thanks to the entire guest team since last one month who all have been working really, very hard and special, special thanks to Dr. Corina Sushtia, uh, Vice Chancellor, yeah, for their precious time, for their support and cooperation. And all the teachers out there, you know, I thank our teachers who've been working really, very hard, taking efforts for their leading, supervision, and inspiring at every point of time, you know, everywhere here to all the students all across the globe, being a part of this. International Internship University family, IIU BCAP family, actually, I would rather say. So it's not actually possible to thank everyone here, but yes, to all the students who've been rigorously, generously being a part of this event and making this event actually, this uh, IIU BCAP successful. So that's a big round of applause to all of you from um, the entire IIU family and appreciating involvement of each and every single one, every single teacher, every single school, every single parent who have been supporting and guiding their students all across and giving them motivation to attend such workshops and their willingness that they have expressed to finish this task. Every time when Zainab, Avnika, Peter, uh, Subi, all have been sharing their videos and interacting with um, all of us, that was literally very much amazing. So learning all across the globe, isn't it great? That is the reason I say anytime, anywhere, the world has become a much smaller place when it comes to International Internship University. Definitely. So I thank our honorable um, co-founder, our trustee, who has given us this beautiful initiative, who has taken this beautiful initiative and give us, gave us the opportunity to host such event under this beautiful family where we can interact you know globally we all can interact very much easily to all of us it is grateful to thank the members of the meeting uh, of this conference and very valuable suggestion which we all have been getting from all across the globe so the entire committee let me tell you this is not that easy to be very honest all have been working the entire committee the people those have been working behind the scene been working really really very hard Certainly, our project director, uh, Dr. Corina, has been working um, very hard. But the other people, those who have been working at the back end and preparing things all together, I would name few. Deep Shikha uh, Patak been working really, very hard on this, helping us uh, from IIT many a times. And then other people who have been managing and working. <laughs> so, the actually, wheels got start rolling ages ago, weeks ago, and everyone started working and preparing and connecting with all these teachers, connecting with all of you guys through these schools and uh, institutions. And so does we could make this even successful today. And from this, this is not the ending. As we all said, this is going to be a big name and we all will be meeting once again 
in one another event where we all will be interacting in different other opportunities where we all be enjoying where we all be learning and obviously exchanging our international knowledge from one country to another in another exchange program once again till then please stay blessed take care stay healthy and we'll be meeting connecting once again thank you so much thank you thank you all